In this lecture, we're going to take a look at 3D maps, which is a nice new visualization in Excel. Like some of the other new visualizations, 3D maps don't work with pivot tables. Now, 3D maps will work off your raw data sets without having to necessarily aggregate them. However, by running off your raw data sets, if you have a lot of data points, they can tend to run really slow. So even though it's not completely necessary to pre-aggregate your data, it can sometimes often make sense to if you find that your computer starts to really churn and start to run slow because of 3D maps. So I'm first going to load up some data. So data from text. I'm going to load up employees 2017. I'm going to click on edit. Now the first thing I'm going to do here is aggregate some of my data. Now to do this, I'm going to come over to transform, group by, and I'm going to click on advance. And here I'm going to select the columns that I want to do my grouping by. So what I want is I want county. I'm going to add another grouping for city. And I'm going to add another grouping for higher date. Now the reason why I'm bringing higher date in for a map is because one of the neat features about 3D maps is that you can actually see how things change over time. So I'm going to come over here, I'm going to do a sum of headcount. Just call that headcount. And click OK. So there we have our aggregated data set, which should be a lot faster for rendering our maps. I'm going to come over to home, close and load that. Now that we have our data, we can come over to insert 3D maps. Okay, so here we have our map. Now one of the things that you'll notice here is that we have a whole bunch of dots all over the map. And if we look over here, we can see that the confidence of these locations is only 67%. Now, I know in this case that all of our locations are in the state of Montana. So they should really all be clustered here and not spread around these other locations as well. To improve this, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go back to our data and add another field which specifies the state. Close that down. I'm going to come back to our data here and I'm going to click edit. So back in the Power Query editor, we've got all these four steps here. I'm just going to jump back a few steps. So here, what we can do is we can, uh, we can add another column. So a custom column. And let's call this state. And state equals Montana. I'm going to click OK. And here we have our state. For the groupings, the state hasn't been grouped here yet. So let's just modify this with the little cog here. And we're going to add one additional grouping, which is state. Click OK. Close and load. Then let's come back to our 3D maps. Got this one open. Let's open that up again. And we can refresh our data. Now that our data has been refreshed, let's click on Add Field and Add State. Now we can see all of our locations are showing up in the right place. And we've got 96% confidence, which I think is pretty good. Let's zoom in on this map a bit. And if we tilt this a bit, we can see that we actually have these 3D icons. 
but they're all still relatively flat at the moment. What we can do is we can add metrics to this chart. Say over here we've got height. I can add our metric, which is headcount. And we can see that. Like so. Let me shrink our legend down. We can add categories to the map as well. So if I come over here and let's say I, set, uh, let's say I add county, we can color code all the different counties. So here you can kind of see the outline of where all the counties kind of sit. And down here we have time. So here's the field that we selected before, higher date. So you'll notice that there's only one option available here and that's because, well, it only works with date formatted columns. So let's select that there. And now we have this cool little play button. So if I click on this, you can see the time going up here and you see you can see the height of all the bars on the map actually growing over time. So that is 3D maps, a cool little feature in Excel. If you found this video helpful, please remember to give a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet and you want to learn tips, tricks and tools to help you and your team work more effectively with data, hit the subscribe button and the notification icon so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time.